story time. Grin and bear it. So I was just wrapping up a workout and I was suffering. Um, due to my neck injury, um, I'm losing the strength on my left side and it's just growing. It's becoming more and more significant. Um, and while I was in there, I don't know if you're familiar or not, um, I was doing the tricep press down, which is a cable machine. And uh, on the exercise, you know, I got to the point where I couldn't do more than about 20 pounds, almost 15 pounds with my left hand. And I just kept telling myself, grin and bear, grin and bear it, grin and bear it. And after the first set, I was pacing and doing circles, and, as I normally do, and I was feeling really sorry for myself. And I was about to walk out of the gym because I felt embarrassed and silly and just frustrated. And, um, I took a couple deep breaths and I thought about, like in my life, you know, I, I talk a lot about and I think a lot about my fight or flight instincts because they just motivate so much of my behavior and I've learned how to like recognize those things and how to like not let them kind of control me, those impulses. And today I want to, I want to actually talk about something else. I want to talk about grinning and bearing it. You know, sometimes I found like with me and I'm going to give you an example, a couple examples, but some of my biggest growth has actually come just when I had to accept really horrible situations. <laughs> or bad things, or things I didn't want at that time. And I'll just say it was grin and bearing it, and getting through it, and learning to kind of just give up. And not give up like quit, give up like give in. You know, just accept you don't have control right now. And you know, a couple examples of this, I'm gonna give you two. One, when I broke my back. You know, I was never gonna be an Olympic wrestler. It wasn't in the cards for me, I didn't have the talent plain and simple. I had all the desire and ambition though and it was hard to demotivate me and I ran my body through the ground and I, I literally broke my back trying twice. So after my second spinal fusion it was abundantly clear that my life is not going to be the same let alone my athletic dreams right. That was hard for me to accept and then you throw in depression, pain medicine, it was just a vault of combination for about a year of my life you know and I had to mourn that loss, and to me it felt like somebody close to me, which was just a dream, but it, it's like they had passed away, and I had to really mourn that, and I thought there could be nothing, as silly as it sounds to me now, m more painful. And then fast forward 10 years, and I'm interviewing for that big job, that fancy company, and on the third round of interviews, and I'm flown into corporate, and I meet the founder and the president. I'm walked out hand in hand, shake hands, can't wait to work with you, can't wait to work with you. And then crickets for a week, and then two weeks, and three weeks. And eventually, oh, we chose another applicant. I was crushed, I was humiliated. I told my friends, it's in the bag. I told family members, I'm gonna make a lot of money. It was silly, it was crushing. It was humiliating, it was embarrassing. And I felt like failure to my wife, and. At the time, I thought nothing could be worse. And now I can't even remember what that feels like. So while I was in there in the weight room and struggling, I'm just saying grin and bear it, grin and bear it. I told myself, you know what? This is an opportunity, John, just to accept this. Just accept it. You know, your next surgery is literally a week away, seven days from today. And I can accept it. I can grin and bear this season in my life. And, uh, and I know I'm going to be stronger because of it. I'm going to be better. And it may not come down to what I could pull on the cable pulley or in the tricep extension. It may just be as a person, you know. And if nothing else, I will have lived this experience. So the next person I meet or talk to with the neck fusion, I'll be like, I got you, man. Let's talk. And I got one more thing to bond with someone about. So story time. Sometimes just give up control. Grand Barrett. Thanks for watching.